Hey folks, how you doing? Ron Raymond here from the Raymond Report with your NHL previews and predictions for a Monday, May 17th. Hope you're having yourself a good start to your day. As always, don't forget to subscribe to our channel by tapping that notification bell in the top right hand corner or hit the subscribe button below this video if you are using a mobile device. Today's podcast brought to you by HockeyPicks.com. Anybody can play, anybody can join. And if you want to follow my selections or the top scorers here at HockeyPicks.com, just head on over to HockeyPicks.com. And uh, you can see we've got a few new leaders here in the top three. Z Roper still leading the pack at 844. Vela from Finland at 819. And uh, Ron Bashnik, Ronnie, 775 are your top scorers right now at HockeyPicks.com. All right, let's take a look at the three games on tap here tonight. Man, what a great game yesterday between Florida and Tampa Bay. Even though we're on the wrong side of that game, um, you can tell. This is all going to be about uh, great goaltending and the power play. And you don't want to get any penalty troubles against uh, teams like Tampa Bay because they will kill you on the power play. And speaking of great goaltending, we'll see if Carolina is going to go with Peter Masaryk tonight. He'll be up against UC Saros of the uh, Nashville Predators. This should be a good series. In fact, Carolina 172 favor here this evening. Your runner set at 5.5. ATS forecast, computer pick, going to lean with the uh, Carolina Hurricanes. 3.31, 2.63, your runner at 5.94. And uh, looking at the chance of winning, 68% chance tonight compared to 39 for the Nashville Predators. Heading into this game, Nashville did not coming in strong. Uh, actually, sorry, Carolina not coming in strong. They were a loser the last three. But you know what? They made the final. They rested some players. And uh, we'll see what happens tonight. They did have a good year, 36-20 and 20 on the season. And Fort Nashville, 31 and 25. All right, the uh, game of the night, in my opinion, is going to be in Colorado between the Avalanche and the St. Louis Blues. In fact, uh, Riley called out the uh, made his uh, prediction. O'Reilly did, saying that they were going to win the uh, the series, but uh, we'll see about that. Colorado might have something to say about it, but you know what? I tend to believe him. I do think St. Louis is going to win this series. Just like I thought Minnesota was going to give Vegas um, a, a rough time. And they did yesterday one nothing. And going into this one, this is way overpriced here. Minus 333. The overrunner set at 5.5. ATS forecast, computer pick. Going to lean with the Avalanche here. 3.28, 2.48. The overrunner at 5.76. The chances of winning based on previous game coming into this one. So the percentage play is at 15% for Colorado. 26 for St. Louis. But now this is a new season. The chances of winning, you know, pertains really mostly to the uh, regular season. So I'm just uh, showing you guys this for, um, you know, entertainment purposes only. But don't put too much emphasis right now in the chance of winning because now everybody's hit the old reset button and we start from zero. And uh, both teams coming in on three days rest. Colorado had a pretty good year at 39-17. and 17, And uh, St. Louis uh, losing record. That's um, You don't see that often. Teams come into the playoffs Unless it's the CFL, right? Uh, 27 and 29 on the season. And uh, we'll see my line on this game was minus 269. Colorado overvalued. But I will say this. In NHL hockey, um, the, the first game doesn't mean that much to me when, when I when I handicap the, uh, the the entire series. Because it's that feel out. It's the first round of a 15-round you know, fight. It's the second game that, to me, is the most important game of any series. And uh, even though... I think that uh, Colorado will have their hands full tonight with St. Louis. I won't be shocked if they win tonight, but I do expect the Blues to give Colorado a good run for their money. In fact, um, you know you can't ignore the, the value that you're going to get on the Blues. And it uh, should be a great matchup here tonight. Again, if you want to see my pick on this game, I will have it at HockeyPicks.com later this afternoon. But uh, for entertainment purposes, and this is the computer analytic picks, 3.28, 2.48. The over-under at 5.76. And if you're new to the Ram Report and you're wondering, okay, are these your picks? Are these these are the uh, the forecasts that we generate from 101 previous games in the uh, systems. And this way, when we do these reports, we have the computer pick like this. the title says, right? All right, game number two. Now, this is going to be a big game. And as I said at the top of the show, the, the second game to me is always the most important because you got that one game under your belt. Washington, let's be honest, they got a little bit lucky uh, to win that game, but it was a nice victory for the uh, Capitals. They lost Vanacek in the making. We'll see um, in the process. We'll see what happens. But you know what? They got a veteran goaltender in Anderson going in, in between the pipes. And let's be honest, Boston's not the same t- team, right? They don't, you know, when you miss a big piece like Chara on defense, it, Chara makes everybody six foot five, right? And when you don't have that, um, you saw it yesterday in the Florida series, right? Tampa Bay. Like it's you need sandpaper when it comes to playoff hockey, it, it becomes a mindset, it becomes an attitude, and it's it's about team toughness. 
and the team that uh, and you know goaltending and power play. If you have a good power play and you you know in a good PK, you know unfortunately Florida didn't have a good PK yesterday, and they learn from that hopefully, and they'll know that you can't get into power play issues with teams like Washington, teams like Tampa Bay, because they will make you pay the price on the power play. And this is where you got to take a number and maybe, um, you know, get your opportunity later on in the game if you're looking for a clean lick. But uh, Or you take that number and you wait for next season. But now is not the time to take stupid penalties. And going into this game here tonight, the Boston Bruins, a minus 132 favorite, over-under set at 5.5. So the bookmakers not uh, getting off that favorite role. They had them at minus 130 last game. So they're going right back to the Bruins at minus 132. A little bit uh, surprising, you know. So, uh, but... Hey, it's it's the playoff hockey, the zigzag theory of you know the you, normally you want to tend to play the team that lost in game two one on in game two, and that could be the Boston Bruins. And we do have them at two point nine two on the computer pick. That's based on seventy six previous games and uh, the over under. Let me see, at two point eight five for Washington, the over under at five point seventy five. I thought really uh, the game would have went over last time, but it was a three two win for the uh, Capitals. And it should be a great, another great matchup here tonight. We are treated. This is the best time of year uh, for hockey, right? When you get into the later stage of the season, it's just going through the motions. And you saw last night in Florida, it's go time, right? And that's what hockey's all about. That's when you get playoff hockey like that in the first rounds, first series, everybody's gung ho. Everybody wants to win the Stanley Cup. It's the toughest trophy to win in all sports, and it's the best tournament of all sports too. All right, folks, don't forget you can get my hockey picks each and every day right here at HockeyPicks.com. In fact, if you look at my selections yesterday, I'll go to my account. What did I have yesterday? Not had a good day. It wasn't a good day. I was all over the chalk yesterday. I had the Pittsburgh Penguins. I had Florida, and I had Vegas. But, you know, we're talking about one-goal games, right? <laughs> what can you do? That's hockey. All right, enjoy your um, Monday night of hockey. Don't forget, follow us here on our Twitter, uh, uh, I'm sorry, on our YouTube channel. And if you're new, subscribe to the channel. And uh, hopefully we'll see you here very shortly with another Rim Report. Cheers.